always respect for Greenland Trail because without kayak and ghostly there will be no people in Greenland so I want to keep kayak as long as I can move Greenland is a treeless tundra covered mainly in ice. The Inuit used to build kayaks with driftwood they collected on the beach, sewing seal skins around a wooden frame. Kayak simply means hunter's craft. They say that the sea designed their kayaks, for the ones that were poorly designed never returned. This traditional knowledge was almost lost as hunters transitioned into motorboats. In 1985, the Kwanak Katufiat was formed to preserve this most important element of their traditional culture. Once a year, people from outlying towns get together for the Greenland National Kayak Championships, and in the year 2000, they opened up the event to international competitors. My friend James Mankey and I have decided to go this year, but participating in this event is merely an excuse to be right at the heart of the celebration. Our journey begins in Maine, where I paired up with Turner Wilson to build two traditional skin-on-frame kayaks. We just landed in Nasaswak. Uh, we're about to take the boat down to Korkatuk, but I can't wait to see how cold the water's gonna be for the competition, so I'm gonna go and check it out right now. You can probably see some icebergs in the background. It gives you an idea of how cold that is. Uh, Our first job after arriving in Korkatuk is tracking down our most precious cargo, our kayaks. Oh my god, next challenge. It's a relief to find the kayaks in good condition after their 5,000 kilometer journey to Greenland. Yeah, 
James. Brian. Two times. Two times. Brian. James. Yeah, James and James. <laughs> After making some final adjustments to our kayaks at the local club, we head over to meet the ferry carrying other competitors from all over Greenland. Before the event, they pay tribute to their ancestors with a procession through town, a church service, and a laying of wreaths for the many seal catchers that over the years have lost their lives. Everybody who hears about the competition and decides to come to it always thinks they have to be really, really good, really fast, really great rolling, really good harpoons, whatever. And it's, it's hard to, to convince people. It's not about how good you are, it's just whether you're, you've got the right mentality of like, this is a celebration, this is to, to, to enjoy the, the, the Greenland kayak tradition. Um, and even if your skills aren't any good, just to come and appreciate what's there and help people celebrate and cheer people on. That, that's really what, what's best about it. If you're coming to, to win something so you can put it on your resume and looking to beat everybody you see and get really egotistical about it, I think that's the most disrespectful way to, to come because that's not how, they, how it should be viewed. <laughs> Despite the competition format, this is more of a way to celebrate, practice and pass down traditional skills, skills based on survival in the Arctic Ocean. Hunters would travel in skin-on-frame kayaks, wearing waterproof seal-skin garments, and in such cold temperatures, the ability to roll upright in any situation was essential to survival. The many variations of rolls are meant to represent different scenarios in which an Inuit paddler could find themselves, with their paddle or potique trapped behind their back, entangled in a harpoon line, rolling with a throwing stick or norsack after using it to launch a harpoon, rolling with the crook of your arm to save dropping a precious tool like a knife, or the ultimate scenario, being dragged sideways by a harpooned walrus with the other end of the harpoon line entangled in your deck lines. Other skills include harpoon throwing, distance races, and rope gymnastics. The person who demonstrates the best grasp of these skills becomes kayak man or kayak woman of the year.
Rope gymnastics are the best way to condition the body for rolling. Most Greenlandic children will learn the rope moves before ever attempting to roll a kayak. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, the whole idea from the past that rolling was something that you learn in the advanced stage much later on is, is backwards from what's done here. Where you, first you're going to get your roll together, then maybe you can go out and paddle. Most important thing at the championships? Yeah. Kids. It's all about the kids, really. They, I mean, to, when you see them getting inspired and, and things, and that's, I, I think that was the point of starting the thing among the Greenlanders, they wanted to preserve all these skills and part, this important part of their history. So, you know, if only older people know about it, they're not going to be around forever. So you want the kids to pick up on it and figure it out and, and treasure their own heritage. So that's, yeah. I think, the idea. So coming here to help, help them celebrate their culture and help the kids get psyched about it, that's, that's what makes it for me. As I was working through my rolling routine in the competition, a local iceberg followed suit. It was exhilarating to try the walrus pull in Greenland, and on my second attempt, the force of the water snapped my paddle in two. I said, I'm just stoked that I got to do a walrus pull in Greenland! <laughs> awesome. Well, 
I was pretty nervous when I got out there, I have to admit. Um, I was a little shaky. Um, and I was a little, a little bit loose on my roles. I mean, roles that I typically do very, very well. They would just, I mean, I got them, but they were, they weren't, they weren't near as good as I, I, I think I could have done. But uh, I think the nerves kicked in for me a lot. With the rolling, the the names of all the Greenlandic rolls were, were gotten with a, a great deal of trouble years and years ago by John Heath, and he was he was very protective of somebody not misusing these sorts of things. Um, whereas nowadays it's all online; you can figure out what the names of, of the Greenland rolls, and, and you can practice them, go listen to the sounds of Maligak or somebody saying them, and I've I've recorded several Greenlanders saying them to practice them. So you've, better known in U.S. circles as the shotgun roll. But so, with the ropes, I've, I've, ropes are one of my big things. And I've, I've sort of gotten, I, I hope, ahead of the curve in that there really aren't any standard English names for the rope moves. And if I'm successful, there never will be. The, the only way to refer to those is by their Greenlandic names. Otherwise, you have the numbers, number 22, but it's English Dooney, Dashlit, Pashtatishluit, Un English Dooney. And that's the way you say it, and you don't make up some English word for it. You either learn the Greenlandic, you can pronounce it badly, but you gotta say the Greenlandic word. Dubside has become a mainstay at the championships, and because of his dedication to learning and documenting the skills and language associated with the event, they regularly ask him to judge. We have a we have a member of honor, Campbell. Yeah. And he has been good in passing on the the, the knowledge almost the time. So it's very important when when young people are building their kayak, uh, they are fed with uh, with knowledge uh, from behind. Mm -hmm. Explaining, uh, explaining the why why a machine uh, should be like that, uh, why the gunwales uh, has to have the same, uh, and why the ribs uh, uh, has to be uh, like 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 we built them. Mm -hmm. James Robert, Canada. Three, two, eight, go. A song Bob Martin Jensen.
So all all foreigners they are welcome uh, because they can share their experiences with us, and we can uh, we can we can uh, teach them uh, uh, something too. And I know that the foreigners coming to Greenland, they are always uh, very, very interested in, uh, in uh, getting a deeper insight uh, uh, of the fire. Uh, so they are, they are very well welcome always. Before leaving Kokatuk, a generous local gave us a ride further down the fjord to see the most well-preserved Norse ruins in Greenland. Not everyone who tried to inhabit these shores was successful. So these uh, national uh, championships that is more is more uh, an attempt to, to to try to preserve the kayak. And uh, we have uh, we have succeeded in that. Yeah. <laughs>